Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Mystical Mermaid. Okay, most folks call me Eminem. I am doing the Cancer Zodiac sign. This will be for your Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Okay. I'm going to play a song and pray that this is clear and precise. The right cancer, get the right messages at the right time, please, Spirit. All right. Now. If this resonates, please hashtag resonate in the comments below, okay? That will give you a chance to win a free private reading with me. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things, like, share, and comment. I feel cancer. Someone's having nostalgia. Someone is, someone is really triggered right now. Missing someone from their past, okay? Um, let's see what the tarot says here. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Guardian Angels. Thank you, Empress. All that's fine and Thank you. Thank you. May this really be clear and precise for spirit. All right, I need three cards for the current energies for our cancers. You guys, I, I know I used to do the you versus them, but I thought I'd try something a little different. Um, I'm just focusing on you and whatever God wants me to say, I'm going to say it, whether it be with career, finances, Job, family, whatever we can pick up, okay? All right, for your current energy, let's see. The current energy for the cancer right now, please do it. What is the current energies? For, ooh, someone is connecting with you. We have the vessel. Oh my gosh. Do you see? I knew it. It is tugging. Your heart is about to explode. I feel it. Truly, I feel it. Okay, two more cards, please, Spirit, for cancer. Listen, someone wants to say I'm sorry. And listen, I'm about to stutter. Did you hear that? Um, or maybe you're holding yourself back from saying I'm sorry. Y'all, I don't know what to look at. So if I'm not looking right at the camera, I apologize, okay? Current energies for cancer. Current energies for cancer. Okay. All right. And then let's get the immediate future. Perhaps this, the rest of this week, please spare it from now to this weekend. Two more, please. Cancer this weekend from now through the weekend. Okay, so um, y'all. I'm feeling like I need to say something. Like I'm starting to sweat. I'm starting to, I don't know, get fidgety. Okay. On the bottom of the deck here, I have the threshold. Okay. Even underneath that, a little egg. Okay. It says the star born. Star born. We'll come back to that. Okay. Now, let's talk about your current. Well, as I mentioned, we have the vessel. I felt it as soon as I connected. Um, seeing so much. And I wish so badly 
that I could do an individual reading for each and every one of you guys, but this is general. So please take what doesn't or take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next cancer, okay? But listen, you guys, someone is realizing, okay? See, it's like you have realized what is deep in the core, okay? Even with the sword here, it's like, you know what I'm saying? This is painful. This is really, really painful, okay? Now, in, that's our current, okay? That is someone um, realizing how they feel or what they feel or who they feel it for, okay? Or a situation, okay? For what's next from now through this weekend, we have the vow. We have the mentor. We have the thought line. And like I said, we have that threshold on the bottom. Even with the egg underneath it. So is someone planting some seeds? Or is something growing? Okay. Someone's got to take this chance over that threshold. Someone was going to get married or either was married because someone got carried over the threshold. I just heard you, like someone's reminiscing because I could hear you guys say, do you remember? And they recalled when they got married. Okay. All right. You're looking up to someone for some advice. You potentially could be the mentor giving the advice, but I don't feel that. I feel you're looking for advice over oh, the vow. Oh, snap. See, I'm sitting here thinking about marriage. Yeah, someone is definitely in separation and thinking of one another, okay? Um, the thought one is like, what are you going to do? What's your next step? What are you going to choose this side, that side? It's all going to crack open if you don't do something, whether it's right or wrong. Okay. We're going to get some clarity. And then we'll talk more about these ones. And I hope you guys like that deck. Um, it is a little different. I realize that. But, you know, change is good, right? Embrace it. All right. Now. Cancer. This is for my dear Cancer. Someone has children, a boy and a girl. They may be twins, but mm, no. Right at nine months apart, though, probably, maybe ten months. Um, they have the cutest dimples. You guys are going to reconcile. All right, now for you other cancers. Why is the vessel here for cancer? Why is the vessel here for cancer? The current energies. Why is the vessel here for cancer? Your fulfillment, your world, okay? Why is the Eros here? Why is the Eros here for cancer? Why is the Eros here for cancer? The Seven of Pentacles, planting that seed, watching it grow. Man, I am so spot on. And I'm just, I am, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, why is the sword here? Why is that sword here? Why is the sword here, please, here? Okay. Yeah, see, this is a marriage sure is the world for most of you guys, so for the majority. The hierarchy is on the bottom. If not, it was a definite, long, 
long-term commitment relationship. Um, for some of you guys, um, the woman cut you out, okay? For you men, well, or women, but I feel like potential air sign, if not air sign, actually, I feel someone's a Virgo and, you, and they got cut out or they cut you out, Cancer. Okay, Virgo did. Um, yeah, they have found a new way or a new path or thought they had. Thought they had. Okay. So, yeah, your current energies are very much um, right now. Let me get your feelings right now. What's your overall emotions right now? Overall emotions for cancer currently. Overall current energies for the emotions. Anxiety, depression, you can't sleep. There's a particular uh, woman I'm seeing, she really can't sleep, tossing and turning, dark hair. Um, I, I feel like you are some sort of uh, band or a rap or something sometimes. Um, for you, Whoever you are, if you have dark hair and dark eyes, very beautiful skin. I feel like it's a little on the um, lighter side, as in, um, I feel like everybody else is a little um, darker than you or something that's around you, and I feel like you're just a little bit lighter than the rest, and I feel like you're insecure about it, but you it's beautiful skin. Anyways, for you, I am um, I, I'm hearing have your courage and strength ready. Be prepared. You can do this. Um, join some social media groups or something. I feel that that's going to help you somehow. You're very spiritual. Very intuitive. Okay. Now, let's go to what's next, folks. In the near future, why is the let me see the thought line. Why is the thought line here for cancer? That is, thank you, the Ace of Swords. That truth coming to light. That aha moment, right? Um, I feel like a third party coming between some folks here. Okay, why is the mentor here for cancer? Why is the mentor here for cancer for spirit? Okay, we have the judgment, we have the Knight of Swords, three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, five of Wands, three of Pentacles. Okay, so <clears throat> you are definitely going, maybe you go to counseling or therapy. You're definitely in that single energy, very independent, maybe even snarky. Um, I feel like maybe you're thinking about filing for divorce, or maybe someone has. Um, I feel like um, this may even, this mentor may even be your preacher or your pastor, okay? Um, someone is definitely feeling very lonely and alone. What is, why is the bow here for cancer? Why is the bow here? Why is the bow here? Because that's your wish fulfillment, okay? And I feel like, um, yeah, see, I'm, I'm getting like empress and emperor type feel with your connection with this person, okay? Why is the threshold here? Why is the threshold here? The page of pentacles. So there is communication coming in, folks, okay? And um, there's some sort of message coming in. It's just really slow energy, okay? And 
I, I feel like there's definitely something that I don't know. You guys will have to definitely if someone is if it's, if this is resonating, someone has to tell you something. Something needs to be said. What is next for this cancer and their person that they're missing? What is next in a relationship or love within their union and connection? What is next? What is next? The King of Pentacles, like I said, that solid offer. It's just really, really slow energy, okay? Some of you guys still have the um, Aries. Okay, what is this person's next actions towards cancer? What is this person's next actions towards cancer? We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Six of Cups and Holy Smokes. Holy Smokes, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that going girl. All right, so somebody's going to put some effort in. There's going to be reconciliation, okay? You guys are soulmates, okay? Um, I feel like there are some secrets that need to be said. I feel like once these are brought up and out, then you guys will actually, I, I feel like you guys are going to do really well with one another in this union, okay? All right. Clarity, guidance, and messages for cancer. Clarity, guidance, and messages for cancer, please, Mary. Clarity, guidance, and messages for cancer. Clarity, guidance, and messages for cancer. Clarity, guidance, and messages for cancer. Suffering in silence. You sure are. Someone is. Okay, emotional loss, spiritual strength, and choose wisely. On the bottom of the deck here, um, we have the foundation and achievements. Even the fertility card, which is like our empress, is underneath that. So I feel like there's going to be choices that needs to be made. I feel like, see, you're very intuitive, maybe an empath. I feel like um, someone is completely heartache, heartbroken, heartbreak, um, so lonely. Let's get the outcome, the future outcome of this. Some insight guides or clarity to spirit on the future outcome of this connection. With cancer and their person right here. Future outcome. Future outcome for spirit. Right now, there is there's a third party, or it could very well be addictions. I just heard someone has some addiction issues. Yeah. That's what it is, I heard. Um, listen, right now is not the time for, um, you know how I said they're moving to you, like towards you, but in very slow energy. Let them be, Cancer, okay? Because they are going to come back if that's what you want, um, but not yet, okay? Um, I feel like they're suffering with addictions, depression, bipolar. I feel like they're going to hit with rock bottom. Be humble. And then you guys will reconcile. Let's get another deck and just pull one out of it, and we will be done. What does Cancer need to hear from now through the rest of the week? What do they need to hear right now? Spirit, 
cancer. This cancer needs to hear. Thank you. We have 2525. It's time to make positive changes in your life and let go of old ways. Trust in the change in your life. Ask your angels to stay balanced and focus during your transitions. 2525. There's also one more. 0000. zero, zero, zero. You are the one with God. Something has ended like it began. Moving forward with your dreams, put fear away and do what you need to do. Zero, 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 zero. On the bottom of the deck, number three, your guides are with you, offering you love and wisdom. All right. Cancer, that's what I've got for you folks. Don't forget to please hit that thumbs up for me. Y'all, love one another. Be kind to one another. Life is too short to be petty. Until next time, don't forget, hashtag resonate if you want to win a reading. <laughs> I'm sorry. Until next time, y'all. Bye. <laughs>